All right. Up next is a good customer, Mike's 2016 Druxen R. Uh, we built this bike uh, last winter, and very happy with how it came out. Um, some of the bigger items on this was a uh, did a full blown airbox delete on this. So this is you know one of probably three or four in the world um, that have had the airbox fully removed. Uh, our buddy TJ uh, cut out a custom panel underneath here for us. Uh, use a cool little trick, little push button, quick latch um, to take the seat on and off. Uh, David Slide Custom did all the finished welding, paint work on it, uh, shaved down some tabs on the frame, made this cool little license plate bracket here. Uh, so that's kind of like, you know, the really one-off bit on this bike. Uh, the rest of this bike is uh, same thing. Build it in your garage. So we're just going to go through quickly... Uh, you know, what we've done to this bike so lots of powder coating engine covers foot controls um, it's got arrow straight headers so no catalytic converter on this no cat delete uh, married up to the uh, fairly new uh, GP slip-ons from iron Cobras so these are just really nice mufflers um, there's some other on the market the fit and finish on these is just second to none. There's no rivets on them, just really clean. Um, you'll see we have the LSL foot controls and pegs on here. Uh, the sprint filter, waterproof pod filters. Uh, the tricky part about any of these new Triumphs and why you haven't seen like, you know, a lot of airbox delete kits out there is there's just no room between the throttle body and the frame to get a good filter in there. Uh, we've probably ordered 10 different filters um, these are the best ones that we sell because they have the most surface area. Definitely see a pickup up top uh, in power. Uh, we've had some customers that have been drag racing with them. Been really happy with them. Uh, up front, it's got a uh, Free Spirits uh, floating calipers. Uh, we painted the lowers on these. Uh, the bike itself uh, is a matte white. It's actually... Uh, Ducati Arctic Silk White, uh, off of like, like Panigales from a few years ago. Motodemic adaptive headlight, uh, along with a custom tinted shield. Uh, lots of Rizoma goodies on this bike. Spy arm mirror, 3D levers, uh, hands down, the nicest levers made for these bikes. Folding, fully adjustable, and it kind of has that classic look to it. They're expensive, but they are pretty. Uh, did a lot of powder coating on the triple tree, painted the gauge cluster, Louis Moto seat, uh, A&J cycle sprocket, along with some driven sprocket nuts and a nice chain there. Uh, wheels were powder coated by TRG Coating in New Jersey. Uh, you'll see we have the uh, the Monster 320 millimeter Free Spirits brake conversion on the back here, uh, along with the Olins. I believe these are the TR964s. Similar to the Stock Shock, um, still a premium unit compared to those. You got a fully threaded preload here, uh, adjustable rebound, and compression. Uh, blacked out the uh, throttle bodies on this. Xarc LED turn signals all around. These are the multi functions in the back. Super bright. That one light is running light. And that's it.